Hi, I'm Riss, and welcome to Realms Bus. Oh my god, hello. Hello, everyone, again. Sorry, this is late. I'm the one that messed up the whole schedule because I was. Busy. And I'm pretty sure I was the one who suggested school as a topic, so that makes me like double a terrible person. But to make up for it, I'm here to give you some advice on how to survive high school. And this isn't gonna be some cutesy advice about how to decorate your locker or OMG, embarrassing freshman year moments. I wanna be real. This is gonna be actual stuff I've learned and stuff that you need to know so that you don't crash and burn and die. Cause not to scare you, but high school kind of sucks. And this is stuff that I wish I knew. So let's just get into it. Some general advice to begin with. First of all, don't judge people because before you know it, you'll be judging yourself constantly. And then you'll be comparing yourself to other people and that sucks. Second of all, the sooner you will learn how to laugh at yourself, the better. You're going to make a ton of mistakes and you're going to want to die on several occasions because you did something, said something, blah, 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 blah. But if you learn how to make jokes about it and not take yourself so seriously, suddenly life gets a whole lot better. And finally, no amount of advice is really going to teach you anything. You're going to have to get through these four years and do it yourself and learn it yourself. That's the whole point. Learn who you are or whatever. Okay, now on to specific topics. First, the whole reason you're here, academics. If a class is too easy or too hard, talk to your counselor. Do you really wanna be sitting in algebra one if you do calculus for fun? Or do you wanna be in calculus if you don't even know how to do anything with variables? No, learn how to stop procrastinating because you are going to crash and burn. My whole main channel pretty much used to be just about procrastination because that was so quirky and hilarious. And I cried like a million times a week. And now I do my work, I get good grades, do stuff on time, and I only cry twice a week. The more you pay attention in class, the less you have to study. Who wants to study? Not me, ever. I hate studying. So just pay attention in class, you'll retain stuff. You'll be surprised at how much your brain can actually absorb when you're not talking to someone or texting your friend or something. And if you're having trouble with a class, talk to a teacher before it gets bad. If you're a good, good noodle, good? If you're a good noodle, they'll be more likely to push something back or give you an extension or let you make up a test or something. More on that later. Next topic is social stuff. This is my least favorite part because I suck at it. And so obviously my first piece of advice is going to be stop caring what people think because sooner or later you'll realize that pretty much everyone sucks and you can't please everyone. So just have fun and let them think whatever they think. Just because some friends ask you if you want to go out doesn't mean that you have to. FOMO is real, but you're gonna tire yourself out and be totally exhausted. If you don't like parties, don't go to them. Don't be afraid to branch out. It's okay to have different friend groups. It's okay to have opposing friend groups, but it's stressful. But if you like someone, they're nice to you, be friends with them. Okay, now grades, as in freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or first year, second year, whatever, wherever you live. Freshman year sucks, but it does get better towards the end, unless you're like me, who literally just wanted to stop existing the entire time. Sophomore year is fine, you're more comfortable and you know who your friends are, but you're dreading the junior year the whole time. And what people say is true, junior year is the worst and the hardest and you will hate your life, but you learn a lot about yourself. But also you realize, oh heck, I'm gonna die and I'm gonna be an adult soon. Senior year I can't vouch for because haven't been there yet myself, but on my way. Okay, this part is important. Being a good noodle. Don't do stupid things or else you will ruin your high school career. Listen, do whatever you want, but don't bring drugs to school. Don't come to school high. You will get caught. Don't think that you can hide it. Don't risk it. Keep it at home. Do whatever you want outside of school. Be nice to your teachers. As far as your grades go, they're your best friends. And they're also people. Don't you want to be nice to people? And as I was saying before, when it comes to that extension or that little grade boost or opportunity, they're gonna give it to the good kids. Extracurriculars. Find a couple things that you like and focus on them. Make sure that you can prove that you are good and accomplished in them. Especially if you're going to college because that's what college admission officers really like when you're really good at something. Do what you really love and make sure that you can spend a lot of time on it because if you hate something and you're just doing it because it will look good on a college application, it'll show because you're not putting a lot of time or effort into it. Find opportunities. If you think you want to be a doctor, go shadow a doctor. If you like learning languages, find a study abroad program. I found a study abroad program that gives scholarships and I'm going to Korea for free this summer. How? I applied. Do research. It's so important. 
find things that you can do. Oh my god, I needed to like chill out for two seconds because I've been talking so fast and I'm so tired, so I don't know how. Well, in conclusion, there's things during high school that you're gonna wonder how people have it figured out, like social stuff and academics and school dances and events and blah, 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 blah. But you're gonna figure it out. There's nothing I can really say to help you there, but you will figure it out eventually. And it'll suck on the way there, but you'll figure it out. How do you think humans have survived this long? So eventually you'll just figure everything out. Don't panic and you'll realize that nothing really matters. The sooner you embrace that, the happier you'll be. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry it was so fast. I'm just really passionate about this apparently because I'm like, chop, 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 gotta give all my advice at once. And if you like this, you can look at my main channel. I'm usually more lighthearted about stuff and it's not like high school. And you can follow my Instagram. Did the last few people do bad outros? I'm literally so behind the times that I don't even know if this is still a thing. Huh, Sophie didn't do it. Him, Laura didn't either. Wait, I'm gonna track down who the last person was and who didn't follow. Okay, I found out who it was, it was Mason. Mason, oh shoot, that's no good. Mason? I'm gonna kill you. Kidding, <laughs> Okay, well, whatever. Sucks to suck. You should subscribe to Realms of Us. And here's the outro. Well, Mason used Fly Me to the Moon, so... In other words, subscribe to Realms of Us. Yeah. Goodbye. Peace out. Have a nice day. Hopefully I'll be on time next time. Woo! I'm really not used to being this close to the camera, so the eye contact with the lens is making me really uncomfortable. Bless me.